I got bulletproof glass, I don't care. I told ya. Still not gonna work. It's bulletproof. Just give up, you big dumb lizard. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we're gonna see how much bulletproof glass it takes to stop a 700 Nitro Express and a few other elephant rifles. Today's video does not have a sponsor, instead I want you to check out my limited edition Bob's Big Boomstick shirts. These are only on sale for one week. So be sure and check them out. The easiest way to support the channel is by picking up a shirt. There's links to that in the description down below. And I'm sure you've noticed, I got some new ink. We hit 2 million subs before the end of July, so I got the Kentucky Ballistics logo tattooed on my right forearm, just like I said I would. I'm not gonna show the footage of me getting tattooed, but I did post a video of that over on my Instagram, so if you wanna see that, go follow me on Instagram. The 2 million subscriber giveaway is gonna be coming soon as well. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Now let's go get set up and get started. All right, today I have four pieces of bulletproof glass, and apparently, you all are bulletproof glass experts. I had no idea last time I was shooting this wrong. You told me that the uh, plastic side should be on the back. I had it opposite. Um, I don't know if that affected our results, but today we're gonna do it the right way. According to you guys, we're gonna put the plastic in the back. All right. think anything's gonna make it through that that is that's a lot that is about seven and a half inches I don't think anything's gonna make it through that but we're gonna try so this is the CZ 550 chambered in 458 lot this is the first elephant rifle that we started out with this is something that's used quite often when it comes to big game hunting again disclaimer I'm not an elephant hunter I just really like big boom sticks. And the round we're gonna be using in this gun is a Norma 500 grain brass solid. Yeah. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> That glass came all the way back here. Made it through the first one and stopped in the second. Oh, that's hot. Didn't deform the bullet very much. Held together really well. I don't want to do the 500 Nitro next. I was thinking that it wasn't gonna damage it that much, and then when we shot at the 700 Nitro, there'd still be plenty of fresh glass, but I'm afraid that's not gonna happen. So let's go ahead and step it up to the 700 Nitro, and then if we have any glass left, we'll use the 500 Nitro, which I'm sure we will, uh, but let's do 700 Nitro next. So this is my double barrel 700 Nitro Express. I'm gonna show you that it's unloaded, absolutely, ridiculous gun and it shoots this right here a 1000 grain 70 caliber bullet i really want to shoot this glass point blank but that would be very dangerous i mean we were way back there and glass came back and hit me in the neck and face so we're gonna put this 700 nitro in the lead sled as close as we can get it load it strap it down get back and see what happens Let's go ahead and load this thing up. 1,000 grain full metal jacket, and this is not just a copper jacket. There is a steel jacket underneath that. I'll plop that down in the left barrel. I'm gonna go with right there. over the hood 
So do you think it's going to make it through all the bulletproof glass? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's a really fast way to spend a hundred dollars. Got me a handy dandy glove here. And I think the bullet is right there. Oh. Dude, it stopped in the front piece of glass completely demolished that piece and broke the piece behind it. That back piece is still good. Those are not the results that I was expecting, but that is such a big round that it kind of doesn't surprise me that it didn't penetrate as well. Instead, it delivered a massive amount of energy into that glass. Broke all that glass behind it, but I think it went through. Oh. I think it bounced back through the front. You can see it stopped here, then came out the front. That is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Dude. Well, we know what happens when you shoot it with 458 lot and 700 Nitro Express. Let's go ahead and hit it with a 500 Nitro Express to finish it up. So this is my 500 Nitro Express and I'm gonna be using a Norma 570 grain brass solid. Right, hit right here. Take a look at this. Uh, I believe that's the 458 lot hole, 500 nitro, and then <laughs> look at that. Okay, so we went through right there, went through this piece of glass, which what the, I think the round the rounds right there. Whoa. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't make it to the back glass. I saw it was damaged. Looks like went through the first piece of glass, went to the second piece of glass, and punched the third, which damaged the last piece. So yeah, that piece is damaged, but it still looks pretty good. I mean, we could still use that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, tore up that last piece pretty good. And that brass solid held together really well. Take a look at this. So there is the 458 lot. Here is the 500 Nitro Express. And then that is the 700 Nitro Express. So my wife decided to pick me up these 12 pound cabbages when she was at the market. They are massive but they're starting to go bad. So I'm gonna be a good husband and go ahead and blast these things with a 12 gauge. Better. 
All right, that's it for today's video. I had a ton of fun and I hope you enjoyed it as well. What do you wanna see me shoot next? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out the limited edition Bob's Big Boomstick shirts and be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below. Also, don't forget to give today's video a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.